Hi, I'm Apostle Jane Hammond, and I'm super excited to be able to come and be a part of this very important and strategic gathering in Korea with HIM Ministries called Turning a Nation Back to God. I believe that God absolutely loves the nation of Korea, loves the people, the church, the ecclesia of that land. And I believe that God has destined your nation for awakening and for revival. Now, I know that the pandemic came and hit your nation in a very strong way, but I also believe that God has given me a lot of visions, a lot of dreams about Korea being on the the, the tip of the spear, if you will, of bringing breakthrough in the nations for this next season of time. So I believe that this time of gathering is going to be one of the most important strategic times that we've gathered before. Um, I've been to Korea, I think, well over 30 times in the course of my life. And I know that it is one of the nations that God has really marked for last day's revival, last day's awakening, and for some divine reversals. And so I hope that you plan on being with us. I hope that you plan on coming to add your strength to our strength as we see a nation turned back to God. God bless you. We will see you there. Hi, Papa Che here in Los Angeles. We are in an epic season of social transformation. And I believe that we're seeing the fulfillment of Haggai chapter two, verse seven. I'm going to shake all nations. They will come with the wealth of the nations and I will fill this house with glory. We've seen these three things come to pass already. And we're seeing a shaking with COVID-19 pandemic that has impacted 200 nations. And because of the lockdown economic problems like California, 18,000 businesses went bankrupt. Number two, we're seeing the wealth of the nations. In the midst of the shaking, God wants to bless his people. I know we have global inflation and we're on the midst of even having stagflation that includes recession. But in the midst of this, he wants to bless you financially and you want to receive the information how you can prosper during times like this. And thirdly, we're going to see a great revival. I'm going to fill this house with glory. It speaks about revival and transformation of society. And I believe we have a conference that's going to change your life, that's going to equip you. We're going to hear from prophets like Cindy Jacobs and Jane Hammond. These are world-class prophets to hear what the Spirit of God is saying in our time, what to do. We also have apostles like Chuck Pierce, myself, and many others. And this is going to be a conference that I believe in this Kairos moment that's going to transform Korea and your life. So I'll see you there. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Greetings to all of you there in Korea. You know... This is going to be, other than going to Israel, my first trip to a nation that I love so much. And I want to encourage all of you, I consider this gathering of utmost importance. It is a gathering to return a nation back to the Lord. We have watched Korea split. We've watched it develop a barrier between uh, North and South. And we have attempted to address that many times. But there's something about the revival of God's kingdom plan for that nation that becomes so important as we gather in January. You don't want to miss this gathering. I would tell people that aren't even a part of uh, HIM, I would encourage them that this is a gathering to return a nation back to a great move of the Spirit of God. Come be with us for this gathering in January. Hello, I am so thrilled to be going back to Korea again for the turning our nation back to God. Uh, this is HIM. Listen. God is doing a great work in Korea. You have come out of the most terrible pandemic. But I want to say that the Lord has done a season of pruning. The Lord has done a season of, of getting the heart of the nation right for the great tsunami of revival. I prophesied this at the DMZ just recently, and it's going to happen. And come and be part of this. 
The anointing of God will be upon you. You'll take it home with you and you will be nation changers. God bless you. See you soon.